The Rockford Speedway has been a Loves Park staple for 76 years, home to thousands of races and thousands more memories. Now, months after the Deary family sold the property because of owner Jody Deary's passing and area redevelopment, the track begins its last lap before permanently closing and hundreds of fans are ready for the ride. We're very, very proud to do what we've done. An exciting and bittersweet day at the Rockford Speedway as the track opens its doors for its 76th and final season Sunday. There's a lot, little bit of emotion tied to it, a lot of excitement. Since the track opened in 1947, the Deary family couldn't have imagined the profound impact the Speedways had on the community. A lot of our competitors, our fans are coming up to me and shaking my hand and thanking me and uh, and I say, no, it's all it's all you guys that make this happen. The Robinsons are some of those fans, a family whose lives revolve around the Rockford Speedway. I brought the kids here from the time they were born to sit up there in the car seat. Peggy Robinson's husband, John Sr., raced for several years and even won a championship, but it doesn't stop there. John passed his passion for racing down to his five boys, all of which race or work in the pits, including Terrence. It means a special spot for me now. My boy being 10 years old, we're getting him into racing. It's just been a family tradition. It's just every Saturday night. Terrence and Peggy are in the stand Sunday to watch Trevor hit the track as part of the 46th annual Spring Classic. We race at other tracks. We go throughout, you know, all through the Midwest, but Rockford's always home. It's so family orientated that it really, it really makes you, it really hits home. As the Rockford Speedway takes its last lap, Racers and fans say the memories and relationships they've created is something they will never forget. We thank the Deary's for everything they've done. They've been a 